Today I want to talk about using self-expression as a means to reach your full potential, live a complete life. Complete is a new paradigm, a set of principles and practices for living and working at a higher and deeper level. We often need something like complete to give us a different perspective on things, to identify new opportunities and possibilities from where we are now. So I think of complete as uh, being like a circle and we start off here and then gradually as we start uh, trying out new possibilities, meeting new people, having new experiences, etc., the circle grows, eventually reaching and representing our, our full potential, what I call expressing ourselves fully. Now there's five different types of self-expression that we can use to expand that circle. Authenticity, balance, creativity, dependence and experiences. Now just very quickly. Authenticity, as you might know, is about being yourself. It's about making sure your words and deeds align with your values and your beliefs. And that can be incredibly difficult to do, as I well know. Quite often other roles and responsibilities take over and you can be left in a situation where how you're actually allocating most of your time and your life and your year is misaligned with your core values and what you really intend to do and want to do with your life. Balance is about generating and allocating quality energy to different areas of your life. So that includes things like physical and mental health and practices such as meditation. Creativity is more than just personal self-expression through art. It's about change and problem solving and personal transformation. D uh, is dependence and often we think about dependence in a negative way but what we're really trying to say here is the opposite of isolation. It's actually ensuring that you form strong relationship with those around you. And that's the ease about experiences. I think this is easy to understand that sometimes we need to push our comfort zone. We need to try new things, meet different people, and all of those new experiences gradually reformulate how we see meaning in our life, how we see ourselves and see what's possible. And it includes things like flow as well. You know, there's heightened experiences of life, experiencing life on all different kinds of levels. That's a very quick run through of the five different self-expressions and it's one of the, the many things we'll cover off as we continue this complete journey. Now for me, I'm always in, in two minds about this. Uh, the consulting part of me wants to make everything a model and uh, make it reductive, you bring it down to first principles. And the artistic side of me wants to leave everything ambiguous and kind of leave that mystique and mystery and I think that'll be a constant battle as we go through uh, this whole se series of my own personal journey. Now I can already see that there's going to be certain uh, dichotomies <laughs> that, that are going to come up between head and heart, uh, between money and, and heart, um, between left and right brain and other things. You know I realise that even just talking about self-expression is going to be uncomfortable for some of you particularly as it applies to the workplace. But as we go on and we think more about things like storytelling or effective business communication and other things such as how to be happy in life, how to feel grounded, how to feel multi-dimensional, then increasingly we'll need to face those dichotomies head on and reconcile and integrate those different parts of our lives into a whole. Okay, I hope that's been useful. See you again next time. All the best.